everybody welcome back in the last video we just created a very simple iflow where we were passing some text over http and getting the same text back as a response all right so maybe i'll just do a quick recap i am passing one two three i get one two three if i pass let's say something else i get the same text back okay so in this video what we are going to do we will pass a csv file and convert that into xml all right so first let's create a csv file i am using this tool so you can just create a or you can just type your own. So I created a CSV with a three uh, item, an apple, orange, and candy, and the cost is 150 and 10, something like that. And I'll say CSV, and this is the CSV, I got it. Let's copy the CSV and pass into Postman. And if I hit execute, I get a CSV back, but the goal is to convert into XML. Okay, so for that, what we need to do, we need to convert this uh, CSV. Okay, manually, we need to convert into XML, then only we can generate the XSC out of it. Because, uh, you know, uh, this iFlow understand only XML and XSD, that's it. It doesn't understand anything else just to do data conversion whenever you want to do it, right? So let's take this CSV and convert it to XML. Let's convert it. And you can see this is the XML. We got it. Let's copy this one. And now we want to get it XSD or a schema of this XML. So for that, we can use this tool. I'll just pass the same over here. I'll say generate a schema. Okay, so schema is created. Let's download it and save. I have already done it. So this is the schema of that uh, particular CSV or XML you want to call it. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to go here and uh, have a content modifier that is, uh, I'm sorry, the converter I mean to say. So we are interested in CSV to XML. So this is, uh, the one I dragged in between start and end. So here we need to select that particular file. So I already uploaded it. So I'll select that particular file over here. Now we need to pass the starting root node of it. So if you go back to the XML, you see our root node is nothing but root slash row. So go back to the integration. Here you say uh, root slash row. All right. Now we are XML CSV file. If you go here, our CSV is separated by a comma this time. So let's put a comma and exclude first line. Yes, you can exclude. Exclude by XSD element or I don't know. Configure CSV had to match. So XSD element should match. Okay. Not the sequence. I'm just uh, interested in this okay let's do that what we can do we can do a save and we can run a simulation whether it's really working or not okay so what we can do we click on here click on a start button and we want to end it here and let's copy our csv content from here minimize it and double click on it and paste that content over here say okay click on this one let's check whether it's working or not Normally it doesn't take much time, but yeah, this time it's taking like five to 10 seconds. Okay, this is done. Our data is over here. So you can see this is the input. If I double click on it, you can see the body is having this CSV content. If I click on this message manual up body, you see this is the XML. Let's format this XML. Copy and I'm using this tool to format it. I'll just paste here. It's a beautify. Since it was there already, so maybe I'll just show you. It's uh, formatted accordingly. All right, so let's deploy that. Um, if I go back here, if I hit again, I'm getting CSV because I didn't deploy it. Let's deploy that. As you can see, it's deployed. Now go back to the postman, and if I hit here, you can see the XML is generated. Let's format this as well. Okay, so this is the CSV file, I mean CSV contain and the right side we got uh, XML. Okay, so that's pretty much about this video. Thank you very much.